Productions. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This your boy D Grade One Half of B Smoke Productions. Here to bring y'all a little quick and fast tutorial, pretty much on how to uh, change the startup or the boot sound of FL Studio. And what I mean is, when I do this right here. That's what I'm talking about. So I got my tag. It's playing at the, at the boot up of FL Studio. And as you can see, I'm using uh, FL Studio 11. Um, now it's, they're pretty much the same way. So if you got any previous uh, versions of FL Studio, they still can be done. They just changed the type of file for FL Studio 11. So I'm gonna show you both. So let's get to it. First, what you wanna do is get your tag. Um, do it however you want to, make it an FL Studio, Pro Tools, or whatnot, and uh, export it. Uh, you can export it as a WAV file. That'll be the best. Yeah, that'll be the best way to do it. Just export it as a WAV file. All right, for FL Studio 10 and before, what you want to do? Still got my. Uh, And now I still have my FL Studio 10 folder still on here right now because I'm still making sure everything works inside FL Studio 11 before I delete it. Uh, here we go. So once you, you get there, you're going to go to your C drive, program files, find the image line folder, and you go click on FL Studio 10 or 11, whichever, whichever you have inside your image line folder. So for FL Studio 10, you're gonna go inside the folder, inside the FL Studio 10 folder, go inside your artwork folder, you're gonna go to your skins folder, and you're gonna go to default. Now, inside your default folder, you will see this. This is the, the original boot up sound of FL Studio. The normal one that most of you always hear when you start up FL, FL Studio. All right, so the WAV file of your tag or whatever you want to play at the boot up, you want to bring it in here. But first, make sure you change this one. I usually keep this in here. I usually keep this in here, but I change it to say like original. I always leave it in there just in case. I change it to say original. And so once you change that to say original, you drag your tag or whatever you want to use into this folder and you go name it this right here start sound the same way they got it written here or type here or whatever that's the uh, name you want to have so but then you're good with that now the FL Studio 11 same process you will go to your C drive, your program, files, folder, go to your image line folder, then go to FL Studio 11. Inside that folder, you want to go to your artwork, go to your skins, go to default. Now, you can see how, how I named the old one previous, and this is my new one. Now, with FL Studio 11, you can't use a WAV file. You can't just drag the WAV file in here. Let me correct that. You can't drag the WAV file in here and expect it to work. Cause right now they're using a, a WV file. And you have to get a converter for it. So what you wanna do, let me drag this from my other screen. This is what I use to convert it. You get like what, 30 free conversions or something? Something like that. But pretty much, 
It's the Ease Audio Converter. And you'll go to this website. You see it? Ease, EaseAudioConverter.com. And you want to download it. And you can use this to convert your WAV file into a WV file, which is what you need for FL Studio 11. So once you convert it to a WV file, do y'all need, I mean, it has the directions right here. Pretty much I can show you too. So, I just wanna click on uh, try it. Yeah, so you can only convert 30 files. So it's gonna open up like this. You'll go to add. Find your WAV file. Oh, let's do this. Find the WAV file. Uh, I don't want to drag these in. But you go find your WAV file and you go add it in here. Once you add it to here, your output format, you want to change it to WV, which is the file you need for FS Studio 11. And then your directory, this is pretty much where it's going to save at. Once it converts it, it's going to save the file here. You can change it to whatever you want it to be. All right. So once you convert it, You're gonna make sure you change the original WV file to say the previous or original. Either or, whatever you wanted to say, or you can delete it if you want to. And then you're gonna drag your new, your newly converted file in here. Remember, C drive program files, image line, FL Studio 11, artwork scans, default folder. I'm gonna drag the newly converted WV file into here and name it Start Sound, just as I have it, how they have it on here, S-T-A-R-T-S-N-D. And that's it. As soon as you do that, test it out. And there you go. And that's it. So, like I said, it was just something quick and easy. And, you know, hope y'all appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Be Smoke Productions.